Right, drawing the true shape of the cutting plane over here um, in the direction of B. How am I going to do that? Well, first of all, I'm going to dislodge my pitch from the board. I'm going to swing it round. I'm going to take my T-square and I'm going to place it so that the T-square and my cutting plane are lined up with each other. Okay, there it is. I'm now going to take masking tape and I'm going to tape my page down to the board. You could use your set squares to do this operation, but I find that the accuracy of this is just so much better. Um, right, what am I going to do now? Well, I can now draw an XY axis somewhere over here. Let's just find a good space to draw an XY axis. There we go. Um, Let's just move this up so you guys can see it better. There's my new XY axis, XY. And I can now take lines coming down from all of these points. I'm going to take it from number four and three over there. Coming down. Note it's at 90 degrees to the XY axis, which means that I'm looking at this thing at 90 degrees. Let's uh, go over here. There's five and two. Okay, let's just try and get that nicely sorted out. So I've got a little bit more to work with. I've got, uh, let's do the apex as well. Let's do one over there. Coming all the way down. And um, I now just need to transfer these points Note, I'm going to take my measurements off the auxiliary view. There's number one. Go to number one, go down to the XY axis, mark off number one. Label it. There's number one. Do the apex as well. From the apex, there is the apex. Go down to the apex, come over here, place the apex down. It should be in exactly the same line as number one. Label it. Number five, go to number five, go down over here, label it as number five. Number two, distance over there, find two, go down over here, mark off on this line, which is not long enough. Okay, there should be a line coming up there. There is two. Number four over here, let's find four, go down there, label it as four. Number three, there's number three, find three, go down over here, mark it off, and made that line long enough over there. Let's label that as three, okay. Um, right, I've got the base. If I was standing over there looking in that direction, I would be able to see the base. I'm just going to draw it in construction lines very quickly. There it is, the base of my pentagonal pyramid over there and we can draw in that story over there right I can draw construction lines going to the apex over here there we go there we go number three and four would be done in hidden detail I'm just going to do that sort of in hidden detail so that you can see that idea all right, problem is that we need to draw the cutting plane. Let's draw where the cutting plane goes. Okay, let's just use my square up here. Okay, I'm going to take a line from where it cuts through the base over there. That point over there would be A and B. Okay, there's A and B over there. I'm taking those two points down and they are going to be cutting through this base on my true shape. Right, there we true shape of the cutting plane. Take that down. Let's just try and find a color that's going to make some sense. And B, and you're going to find that it cuts through a point over there, a point over there. There's a slither of this three and four that's going to still be seen. So there's on 
Line 5, 4, I've got point A. On 3, um, three 2, I'm going to find B. Okay? Right, once I've found those two points, I then come along over here to where DC is. Okay? D and C, there it is on, uh, on these lines. Uh, D is on line 5, 0. So I go along here, I look for 5, 0. There is D. C is on line 2, 0. So there is C over there. And we said E is going to be on line 1, 0. So I can draw a line coming from E. And line 1, 0 will be that point over there, E over there. Once I've found those points, I can then link them up. There to there, there to there, there to there. there, to there. Line going between A and B. Okay, I can still see a little snit, snitch of line over there going between 4 and A and 3 and B, and obviously 3 and are linked together. I have got, um, I can see the base of this, uh, not the, the base, the apex over there. So I've got a little bit of line going from E, D, and C down to the apex over there. Um, note number one has been taken away, it's been cut away. That section up there has been cut away. So I'm not going to be able to see one up here or five or two. Right, once I've got that, um, I need to put in the hidden detail between 3 and 0. Don't forget your hidden detail, it's very important. You will lose a lot of marks if you don't put that in. Right, there we go. There is the hidden detail on the drawing. And after I've put the hidden detail, I then take my 45 degree set square and I'm going to be able to put the hatching in. The good thing about doing this thing with the T-square lined up with the XY axis is that your 45 degree hatching is actually at the correct angle. Please pardon the interruption. Please notice the following lesson changes again for Friday. Firstly, cycle test, followed by lessons four, five, and six, and break. Then lessons one, two, and three, and break. And finally, lessons seven and eight. Then the business studies catch-up lesson for both grades nine and 11 will be at 15.25 till 16.05 today. Grade 11 lessons will right, be Right, there it is. Um, note I made a mistake with two of these little hatching lines. It shouldn't go into that base over there, over there, or over there. Right, it must go up to the edge of the cutting plate.